What's shaking guys, Mr. E here, back with another game. Uh, this time I have 60 second, sorry, 60 parsecs, uh, also by Robot Gentleman. I think it's by Robot Gentleman. Yeah, it's Robot Gentleman. I just had to check that on a separate screen because I'm not smart. Look at a little robot, like, look at his little hat, that's great. Uh, so yeah, this is just like 60 seconds, uh, except the face. Yes, okay, yes, we'll do Wazda. Uh, uh, this is actually my second attempt at trying to do this. The first time I had my keyboard turned off, and I'm like, why can't I move? Alright, Emmett, you and me, buddy. Go into space. Power, minerals, chemicals, resources for your crafting and upgrading needs. I have no idea how to play this. Uh, I think it does a... what's it called? Thing. Welcome to Icarus 13 Space Station, Astro Citizen. Oh no, my friend over there. Drop it into the escape shuttle, okay. Oh man, he actually runs. It's like it's an emergency or something. Medical supplies. In the med bay. Oh, I'm running into everything. Oh, are you stuck? Bruh. <laughs> How'd you fuck that up? Oh my god, it's gonna be an escape shuttle mission. What the fuck? Find the handbook. Oh, found it. Fucking chairs! I got it, Nick. I'm not risking. I'm not rescuing angry lady. Find some crafting resources. Uh, science lab. Science lab. And John. Find a crewmate. I'm gonna go get the guy who was hyperventilating in there, just because he's automatically my favorite person, and I love him, and I must protect him. Uh -huh. I got you, friend. I got you, friend. It's okay. I'll look after you. We're gonna be best friends. Alert! Incoming missile detected. High risk of impact. Grab whatever you can and head for the escape shuttle. The shuttle! Okay, okay. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Is it crafting resourcing there? Ah, oh, stupid beds! Who designed this place? It's so badly designed. Okay, let's go rescue our friend in here. Wait, what's that? Grab it! Grab it! Nope. I don't have enough space! No! Come on, Nana! Let's go, Nana! Oh! Oh, there's one more crew member! No, let me in! Ah! Open! Oh, that's too big! <laughs> Don't panic! I did panic. I think I grabbed enough food, and I grabbed like one thing of crafting supplies. Duct tape! Duct tape fixes all problems, but how do you fix duct tape? With more duct tape, clearly. It's really obvious answer. Come on, Astro Citizen. Get your shit together. <clears throat> kind of wish I hadn't rescued the old lady. Or maybe she's like a scientist. Day one. Pew, pew, pew. I rescued you, babe. Oh, baby Bronco's his uh. name. I love you, baby Bronco. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Emmett, resourceful. <laughs> Bagan man. Who are you? April Angel. Angel? So we got Bronco, April, Megan, and Emmett Ellis. Hello there, Astro! Computerized assistant reporting for duty. You must be Emmett, right? I am pleased to announce that you have been randomly selected to become the captain of this vessel. Woo! -hoo! Welcome aboard the escape shuttle, Captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen Program, please accept our apologies for the smallest fortune of being hauled 60 parsecs away from Earth. Current goal, find a safe place to land and then try to contact the outside world. Please check the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rationing protocol and feed your crew. Show me what you got, Captain. Goals. Five successful intelligence, attribute decisions, find appropriate landing spot. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Oh, it's all just dumb. But it's mighty strong. Baby is an adult man. But in a very simple-minded one. From a young age, his biggest asset was extraordinary physical strength and build. Due to this, Baby was manipulated by his small-time parents and became a criminal himself. 
The Astro Citizen program was quite literally his escape and second chance. Oh, Bronco. Actually, clever. Okay. Let's see. Great. Caring for a family laundry business. Family's household. Retiring. New purpose, new challenges. Signed up on a whim. Mood. <laughs> and April. She was fit. Average intelligence. Flexible. So basically. Baby Ronk is my favorite. I love everything about him, and I must protect him. I will protect you, my dumb friend. Alright, and... Emmett. Ah, always mentioning something yet. Yeah, brilliant mind. Emmett has always been undervalued and misunderstood by his peers. Seeking scientific challenge, and to get away from his ungrateful job as a chemistry teacher, he signed up for the Astro Citizen Program, hoping this will be the place where he can finally earn the appreciation and respect he deserves. Okay, um... Cool. Close that. What's that? Ex Expeditron. Man, I am. Oh, okay, crafting available. I don't think I really have any crafting supplies. Um, oh, here we go. Sorry, yours, Captain. You, sh you should now give a speech that will guide the vessel, <laughs> that will guide this vessel and its crew through the stars. You preferred it, of course. <laughs> Everyone is really looking forward to your speech, Captain. So am I. Uh, this is it. You can really show what breed of captain you will be in this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? Smart boy one. Yeah. Energy status ready. Uh. Yet. Yeah. No one needs food or drink. I don't think water's a thing in this. Good. I fucking hated that. You know exactly what to say. Your convincing speech was more than enough to prove your worth as the captain of the last human crew in the universe. The last? Wow. But it was quite a performance, Captain. Your crew started cheering even before you finished the speech. Long live the Captain. F Long live the Captain! Filled the cabin. If any sound could travel through the soundless void outside the hull of your ship, that would be it. One thing is for sure, you are ready for the challenges this galaxy throws at you. Inspired by your smart leadership style, I allowed myself to power up the enzyme generator in the back of the shuttle. It will produce some useful chemicals for you daily. You seem alert, Captain. I commend the way you've been taking care of your mental well-being. You should know that peak mental condition means increasing increased efficiency when it comes to performing tasks. Megan says she is glad to have you as her captain. Kill. Cool. Right. Successful strength of Wimpy. Good lord. Okay. Uh, I think I have to click on them to find out what they need. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, loyal. Loneliness becomes an acid that eats away. A lone captain is no captain at all. I mean, I'm pretty sure Captain Jack would be like the opposite of you on that. Ooh, here we go. Captain, it's important to keep you, yourself and your crew well fed. One portion of delicious canned soup is enough to sustain a human for a few days. Even one could be the difference between life and death. Therefore, it's vital to keep good inventory of your stock. Unless you want to eat your own crewmates. Haha, <laughs> that was a joke. Please appreciate it and love. Thank you for your cooperation, Captain. Who will perform the routine supply check? The only requirement is simple mathematics. I realize I might be asking a lot, but I have a good feeling about this crew, Captain. Bam, let's pick the loyal person. Alright, I think that's... Yeah, that's it. No one needs any food. And day. Because Baby Bronco is an idiot, and I love him, and I will protect. Good news, Captain. This shuttle came pre-stocked with an emergency food supply. Use it well. Plus three. Yes. Routine supply check is now complete, and it does not compute. An error was made, and that's what I get for trusting humans to do math. Seriously, Nana? Really? <laughs> Some supplies went missing, and the current number of soup cans on board is eight. The food you collected is more than sufficient for now. Just don't eat it all at once. <sighs> Despite the outcome, I think Megan deserves a shot at being your payload officer. If you keep if you keep her happy enough, she'll produce some minerals for you daily, as long as her morale is high enough. Oh, there's no way to scroll. Alright. Mm -hmm. You hunky? Nope. You good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Just harumph at me. Whatever. Oh! Crafting? Yes! Wait, did I actually craft it? Hmm. I don't seem to be crafting them. I don't know how to craft. Three power, one minerals, plus two chemicals. 
And yes, I should be able to make that. Oh, I think I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> Do I have any med supplies? I have like one. I got no weapons. Captain, the crafting module is is the back in the back of dang words. Is now available. It's just like the extra system material said. This modern machine lets you craft something from almost nothing. All you need is a little bit of minerals, chemicals, or power. Use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies, as well as upgrade items and shuttle systems. Oh, now I'll do it. Make something fast. Fuck up it. I sure hope that's crafting. That looked like it was fine. I think. I don't know. Everything in life is just for a while. A captain always needs to be wary of surprises. All can be lost in a single day. Megan remains loyal. That was ominous. Oh no. Okay, wait. Uh, everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. You're all fine. Captain, there appears to be an error. Error. I am broken. Please fix me. System error. Quick action required. System error. Please, Captain, do something. Do something. I'm not sure how long I can stay operational. Act fast. I do smart boy things. Boy, I sure hope that worked. Oh, wait, am I hungry? Sanity alert. Did it not make my damn sock puppet? Oh. <laughs> it takes like two days. Jesus. We got this. Let's do this. Sorry, I'm clapping and like finger guns. You cannot see my finger guns. <laughs> he grows facial hair like I do. <laughs> Good morning, Captain. Thank you for fixing the area. Error that I made it difficult. That made it difficult for me to communicate. You are quite a hacker, I admit. Well, that's a relief. Who knows what would have happened to me if it wasn't for you? Thank you, Captain. Megan is still loyal. Crafting completed. New item available. Sock puppet. You are hungry, Captain. Baby is asking for more rations. Megan is complaining about an empty stomach. April would like to eat something. That's easy. Alright. There's nothing to report. Captain, I suggest you... Captain, would you mind covering your mouth when you yawn? I thought that a good night's sleep... Wait, could this be boredom? Yes, I've heard that you humans need excitement in your lives to function properly. How curious. Captain, you're sitting in a state-of-the-art space shuttle, drifting through the deep cosmos full of wonder and mystery. Can you at least pretend you're having a good time? Handbook. Sock puppet. Nothing. Handbook. Choose the handbook. Hungy. 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 All right, here we go. Soup, 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 soup. Ka-chow! Yeah, everyone's gonna be happy. This one's, this is a lot easier. This feels a lot easier. I said, probably about to fuck up. Yesterday started pretty slow, but you managed to turn it around. Browsing Astro Citizen Handbook on the, on the toil? I mean, uh, in the airlock? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're pooping in the airlock. You found a set of exercises and decided to try them out. You did jumping jacks all afternoon. How fun. But more importantly, it was healthy. You feel much better now. You're no longer hungry. Baby's no longer hungry. Megan doesn't need more rations right now. April has stopped asking for more soup for now. For now. Alright. Oh, I don't need to check that. Five successful intelligence decisions. How many decisions have I made? None, apparently. Oh no. Loyal payload officer. Mm. Oh, baby Bronco, I love you. Great. Your attention is required, Captain. This is the most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I, can but I cannot identify who is sending them, and more importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar flare, might be solar flare interference, or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. Right, set 1961. Duh. Cold Wall. The icy wall. We need to. Oh god, they eat a whole can of soup each? Fug. Fug. Okay, we need to cipher these signals as soon as possible. For all we know, as well depends on it. Who do you think you should put in charge of monitoring these communications? Average intelligence. Clever. Dumb. Brilliant. Look, but we can put her in charge, because she needs to fucking do something. Upgrade? Ooh. Ooh. I can craft soup! Oh my god, that's great! Seriously, he grows facial hair like I do. <laughs> but everyone's good. I think we're done. Ka chow I gotta stop saying ka-chow for the stone, but I have fun with it. First contact. 
Captain, you need to see this. I'm not easily excited, but this is for this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human-made AI alike. We are not alone in this universe. The signals we intercepted were finally decrypted. The alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. Exciting. And no, I don't mean the Reds. Fuck. <laughs> It's something we've never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume we're going to meet some of them sooner or later. Our, or rather, your life will never be the same, Captain. Abel did a splendid job. She was able to trace some of the electromagnetic interferences to see what seems to be a potential landing spot on our flight path. Our ETA to that celestial body, or whatever it might be, is T-3. I followed your recommendations to reward April for her performance and assigned her the role of your communications officer. In addition to her standard duty, she will ensure that you get some power for the crafting module regularly, as long as she is not insubordinate, that is. Remain alert. Crafting completed. New item available. Soup. This is good. This is good. Oh, good lord. Well, this might just... This night just got interesting. A nightmare wakes you up. As you adjust your eyes to the darkness, you suddenly realize you are not alone. You make out a silhouette of a person in the shadows. It's motionless, but seems to be staring right at you. You can't just ignore it, Captain. What do you do? Use the light up. Who the fuck that? Baby Bronco. Comes up, sir. Oil. Cool. Actually, I'm just gonna make him food. Oh, it's an artifact. I'm like, is that a cow? Let's not recycle the handbook. Upgrades. System. Ooh. We've got enough food to last. Let's let's craft let's upgrade the system. Expedition system left to one. Decision made. Alright. <clears throat> you good for the day. Sorry about clearing my throat there. I should drink a lot of energy drink. This might actually be a lot longer form, and I might have to split this up a bit, because it's already been a little while and I feel like you guys probably don't want another hour block episode of this kind of thing. That was a fun night, Captain. When you woke up, you noticed someone standing in the shadows. The figure didn't move, it just stared. Terrified, you used your used the lighter to see the mysterious visitor clearly, and... Believe it or not, your worst nightmare turned out to just be a mask hanging on a coat rack. You were so spooked. Quite funny, really. I'm sure we will laugh about it all tomorrow. Here, I'll start now. Ha! Ah. Ah. Ha! <laughs> it's bizarre that you did not notice the mask on board before, but now, but you don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth, are you? I'll just be glad you found it, Captain, and I promise to stop laughing at you sometime next week. Our course has not changed. We will see. We will see. Yeah, we will be arriving at a potential landing site soon. ETA T minus two. April's asking for some soup. Are you hungry? April's hungry. Hungry. All right. Well, mm -hmm. I'm gonna feed you soup. Best food in the universe. All right. Uh, there's got one day left. All right, gonna make a decision. <clears throat> Captain, one of our non-critical si subsystems is having a meltdown. The malfunction is serious, and the system won't talk to me. It has to be dealt with directly. If we don't do anything, the breakdown will spill a brain cell atrophy and juice and cool it into our ventilation system. In other words, you better improvise a solution to this crisis. Oh no. Oh no. First aid kit? Fuck, I hope so. Oh no, that's not gonna be good. Alright. Fingers crossed. Space engineer. Achievable. I'm also a. <gasps> Why are you smiling? Yay! The subsystem melted down and the coal was released in the air, but you utilize various first aid supplies to counter its harmful effects. The entire kit is gone, but you feel unaffected. I filtered the spillage out of the shuttle. We're, we're in the clear. And lucky for you, brain cell atrophy will be just the worst right now. Navigation readings confirm we're still heading towards a potential landing site. ETA T 1. Upgrade complete, crafting module, level 2. You might want to secure some rations for yourself, Captain. Maybe he says he's glad to have you as his captain. Yes! Uh, maybe we'd like to eat something. April's basket for soup. Sweet! Aww, well, let's have a look at what that makes. Yeah, we'll make more soup. Definitely need to make more soup. Last night I was browsing through some designs of beautiful machines. <laughs> Never you mind why. Mm hmm. Now pay attention, I found a food dispensing machine on board. All shuttles in the Astro Citizen program were equipped with one. Ours is missing a lever, but apart from that, it seems to be functional. It's hardly rocket science, but so you should manage to fix it. But how? Aww. Okay. Okay, crop mode. No. Repair. No. Upgrade. No. I have no duct tape. How do I not have a shuttle? I'm just going to make food then. I have to hope for the best. Hungy. Fine. Hungy. Hungy. Decision made. 
nothing I can do. I don't have duct tape because I'm an idiot. Alright, so everyone else is hungry. Kaplow. Be one more soup can tomorrow. Oh, I love you, baby Bronco. We're gonna be best friends. I held a vote when you were asleep and I won. One to zero. <laughs> Bendy, the machine I mean, had to go. She would have driven me crazy with her limited programming and constant food queries. Oh, <laughs> there's no reason for you to be mad. She wasn't giving up the soup ration to you either. Damn. <laughs> if you look through the airlock, you can still wave goodbye to her as she floats away. Of course, if you're unhappy with the assortment of machines that populate this ship, you're free to file a complaint form. Number THX1138. <laughs> nice. Uh, and, and, and side note, I'd actually highly recommend uh, you watch TH, uh, THX1138. It's, it's really good. Um, apparently quite groundbreaking for its era, and I thoroughly enjoyed it when I first watched it. Uh, try and get a not VHS looking version. The first time I watched it was on that, and I got really confused because it was really grainy and ugh. But um, otherwise, really good. Uh, also, a boy and his dog. Another good sci-fi recommendation there. There's just some little ones. Sorry, I'll continue. Your abduction will be considered as soon as you reach a new home world. You ungrateful bastard. Baby remains loyal. Crafting complete. You are available. Boop. You don't need extra rations for now. Vigorous and healthy. You look vigorous, Captain. Awesome. Baby needs rations. Baby's asking for more rations. Awesome. Loyal. April I literally gave you a job to do. A strange new world. Oh. They want me to recycle. I'm not recycling soup. Fuck off. Uh, I have no resources for anything. No, I, I didn't make anything anyway. Captain, wake up! We're approaching some sort of celestial body. It resembles a moon, but I think it's a small planet. Let me run a quick scan. 96, 98, 100%! Scanning complete! I was right! A small rocky planet with no organic life forms! There's a lot of movement down there. Strange. My scanners detect a breathable atmosphere, but low in oxygen. Uh, Captain, if you want to land on this planet safely, you have to fix up a small malfunction with our steering system. Since we're not, a, since we're not able... Not even able to turn at the moment. Oh, and you'll have to do it before we float away from the planet. Hurry! Handbook. Lighter. I guess handbook? What the fuck's a gun gonna do? I can't believe I don't have a gun. Loyal. Then go. Just double checking. Yeah, I'm feeling good today. Oh, that was that. Oh, right, it's the med kit I don't have anymore. Oh. Mask. Okay. Fingers crossed we can land. Won't. Oh shit, it worked! No, I crashed. That sounds like I crashed. Oh dear. Robotiful. Okay. I might actually call it there, just for this episode, because this looks like it's going to be a longer one, and with a lot more story to it. I'm, I'm really interested to do this. So, uh, I guess tune in a few days from now, when I'll have episode 2 up of 60 Pass X. I'm thoroughly enjoying this, and my love of Baby Bronco. I love you, Baby Bronco. I'll protect you forever. Sorry, I'll stop. Anyway, uh, thank you anyone who watched, anyone and everyone who watched. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you've got any questions or any recommendations for games to play, uh, just let me know uh, in the comments or anything like that. Again, down below uh, you'll see a link to Robot Gentleman's page on Steam. Uh, have a check out. Uh, you can actually buy both 60 parsecs and 60 seconds in the 60 parsec bundle. A past second bundle. That's what I just named the playlist this is in after. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.